An employee is an individual who works part-time or full-time for your business under a contract of employment. It is important to know if someone is an employee or an independent contractor for tax purposes. There are two ways to set up employees. You can use the setup guide or the employee payroll ledger. In this lesson, we will use the setup guide to create an employee. From your home window, select the setup menu and choose setup guide. Click employees to access the employee setup window. Fields that must be completed are denoted by a red asterisk. These include employee name, birth date, tax table, and pay periods per year. While the remaining fields are not required, we recommend you enter the information as well. In particular, the SIN is not necessary, but it will be required when you prepare the employee's tax forms. Employee information can be entered and edited at any time using this window. To add an employee in the setup guide, just scroll to an empty row in the grid and enter an employee's information. In the employee field, let's add the following using the naming convention already established by this company, last name, comma, space, then first name. Tab to the next field to enter the birth date. Ensure the date is correct as this impacts some deductions such as CPP. Next, from the tax table dropdown, select the province in which this employee works. Let's move to the next field and from the dropdown list here, choose the number of pay periods per year. We do not have this employee's social insurance number or contact information, but we can add it later. We do know her hire date, so we'll enter it now. To view more details about this employee, double click the employee's record to open the payroll ledger window. Everything about an employee is stored in the payroll ledger, which is also known as an employee record. As we mentioned at the beginning of this topic, the payroll ledger window is another method for entering and managing an employee record. In the ledger, there are several tabs with information about the employee. These settings are covered in detail in future lessons. Before moving on, let's highlight a couple of key employee settings, including tax information, incomes, and deductions. After adding or editing an employee in the payroll ledger, remember to click Save and Close. We're also finished with the setup window, so we'll click close to close the employee setup guide. Congratulations, you now know how to add employees and locate employee settings. <music>